Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, I don't know about you, but when I hear about Zara Tyndall furiously kicking Megan out of a hotel, I can't help but think, good on you, Zara. Someone finally had the guts to stand up against the disgusting manipulations of Meghan Markle. And let's be honest, Meghan's hunger for the spotlight is insatiable. She's like a moth to a flame, but instead of getting burned, she's trying to burn down an entire monarchy. What's particularly revolting is the victim game that Meghan and Harry love to play. It's like a broken record stuck on repeat. Oh, woe is me. The big bad royal family mistreated us. Please, spare me the Theatrix. If you're going to leave the royal family, leave. Don't linger like a bad smell and then complain about the stench. And now they have the audacity to blackmail Zara Tyndall. Really, it's mind-boggling how low they are willing to stoop. Zara, being the strong, sensible woman that she is, kicked Megan out like the nuisance she is. Bravo, Zara. Not everyone is a traitor like Harry and Meghan. But let's talk about the silver lining in this royal storm. Zara and Mike Tyndall, they are the epitome of how one can gracefully exit the royal spotlight while maintaining dignity and earning an honest living. Former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond hit the nail on the head when she said, they really could teach them a thing or two, couldn't they? Zara and Mike have shown that you don't need royal titles to enjoy freedom and success. They work hard attend public and private events, and accept their place in the royal family without the incessant winging and moaning we've become accustomed to from the Sussex duo. It's a breath of fresh air to witness a couple embracing life and love without tarnishing the reputation of an entire institution. Jenny Bond's comments are a wake-up call for Harry and Meghan. Drop the titles, stop the victim game, and start taking notes from the Tyndalls. Zara and Mike have become the premier royal couple when it comes to commercial deals. Giles Kenningham from Trafalgar Strategy hit the nail on the head when he said that the Tyndalls have surpassed Harry and Meghan, whose brand has become nothing short of tarnished. And let's not forget the wisdom shared by top royal author Robert Jobson in the Daily Mail. Unlike the Sussexes, they've achieved it without disclosing family secrets or attacking the monarchy. It's a shame that Harry and Meghan chose the path of betrayal, while Zara and Mike are proving that success can be achieved without resorting to such despicable tactics. In conclusion, it's time for the royal family to distance themselves from this disgraceful duo. Harry and Meghan, take a leaf out of the Tyndall's book and learn how to exit gracefully without burning bridges. Zara Tyndall, you are a beacon of integrity in a world tainted by the antics of your misguided relatives. As for the rest of us, let's support those who embrace life, love, and duty without turning it into a circus for personal gain. Cheers to the Tyndalls, the true champions of royal dignity. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.